This week on Cribs, we have Steve Priolo and his Man in the Van Adventures. I'm just joking, but let's take a look through the van and I hope you guys all enjoy this. Let's start with the paint job, custom by Steve and Jackie. <laughs> if anybody wants their vehicles painted, just let me know and I can arrange that. You know, everything on this van has some sort of meaning to us. Um, you know, the, obviously the Canadian flag, the Northern Lights is a big one that goes back with Jackie and I. You know, the hockey, the aliens, the lacrosse, the kayakers, there's moose, you know, little little mountain climbers, right? Just everything has some sort of meaning. Um, let's take a look at the back inside. of the van. You know, it's set up pretty simple. We have the plywood bed frame, you know, futon is our bed, nice pillows, baskets on the side, obviously lacrosse sticks, all sorts of things, little hummingbird, beaded hummingbirds, little trinkets like that. Um, extra water. This is all our rock climbing gear and adventure stuff. You know, barbecue, some cooking, chairs, and uh, I actually have tools in the back there for anything that uh, could go wrong with this van. Here's a side door entrance. You know, paddleboard up top, and our weather guard, roof rack. You know, this is all our, this is all our kitchen sink stuff, right? Easy fold away stuff. Look at kitchen sink ready to go. You know, clean, clean it up after yourself, right? Here's our nice flooring. Bean bake chairs, a great way to go. You can grab them, throw them out of the way. Pelican cooler, you know, keeps ice for 10 days plus. Um, water set up, pots and pans. Or, uh, utensils, cleaning supplies. Bed, you know, big bed, right? We need lots of room up there. Me and Jack here are some big people, so a comfortable sleep is important. Nice air vent. Up front we have trail mix and any sort of snacks along the way you know our little Guardians of the Galaxy people that you've seen in all the other videos <laughs> underneath lots of storage right all about having storage um, there's my clothes and our dry food on the other side is uh, is Jackie's clothes and actually our toilet you know number ones only right so that's the quick and dirty of the van guys um, hope you enjoyed it there's a uh, there's not much to them. They're pretty simple. Um, besides the insulation on the inside, you know, you just, you pretty much build them to your own lifestyle. For me, you know, it was uh, a lot of storage underneath and, and I gave up a little bit of headroom up top on the bed, but that suits my lifestyle. That suits the activities that I want to do. I want to go climbing. I want to go paddleboarding. I have to play lacrosse. Um, anybody can really do this. I, I'd recommend keeping it really simple to start. Uh, because after living in it for a while there's going to be simple things that you're going to want to change and, and things you want to do better or different next time. So I would imagine if you're going to do this, uh, just enjoy it. Keep things simple. Um, you'll realize how nice it is to, to just sit back and, and make a cup of coffee. You know, Instead of going to Tim Hortons or going somewhere and buying a cup of coffee for two bucks, you actually can sit down and grind your beans and, and boil your water. I boil my water every morning and put it into a Stanley thermos. That way I have boiled water and hot water all day whether it's for dishes or oatmeal or coffees or whatever I need it for um, simple things like that like we take for granted in the normal world just having hot water right so um, it's a uh, it's a lot of fun it's it's really a lifestyle choice that uh, that I'm really enjoying right now and uh, I hope to keep this going and I hope it stays this fun all summer